last time on this old outboard. Speaking of batteries going dead, this thing's about gone. Oh baby, let's see if she warms up. And if this battery dies, stay tuned baby, to be continued. All right, the big camera died. I got my little camera. The motor's feeling nice and warm. Getting hot, waiting for that thermostat to open up. I don't see anything leaking. Come on, thermostat. Starting to dribble a little bit. Feeling hot. What's taking so long? Seems to me it should have opened by now. I mean, it's hot. It ain't running cold like it was. Feels about right on my fingers. It's trying. Well, I'm wondering. Let me turn it off. Seems to me it should have been coming out better than that by now. I mean, you know, how hot is it? Ouch. Youch. That's normal. We'll have to take it out, take it for a run. But first, I'm going to go f do that freaking toilet job. They're waiting for me. So, I'll be back. I need to fix this damn crap, too. coming out of the bag. Shouldn't I be having some water coming out of here? Damn it! Shouldn't I have water coming out of there or what? Once that thermostat opens up, that thing should be warmed up to temperature. Yeah, Something in there clogging it up. Doesn't make any sense. Should be spitting water out the back. I mean, it's hot like it's supposed to be. It's not steaming or anything. Something weird is happening. That's got to be. An easy 140. I don't know. I don't know. I would have thought more water than that is supposed to come out. Ah. Alright, I'm out of here for today. So, I've been working my butt off all week. And... I haven't even been down here since the other day. Anyway... Uh, the floor. The issue. Look at that. Over there, over here. Unbelievable. I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. This is where I had, when I took this piece out the last time. Didn't make it on the video. What happened was I came in here and drilled all this out. And I was having a hard time getting in, hitting on the, the piece of aluminum. 
plate that goes across there to join, you know, hold these things together. And I still wasn't coming down here on my hands. This thing was still too high. So I pulled it all out. You can see where I drilled it out. These are filled with fiberglass. And what's happening here, see all these little holes here? That's the, the water somehow is seeping through. Now I put some plastic sealer in some of those holes, but it didn't work. And these two just came up. This was one of the first ones that came up. And I put some sealer on it and, it, and it seemed to have stopped. Then these two back here, I put the sealer on there, on here too. See this one, it, this this one and this one were the first two, and they were dark. And I was assuming that the water was seeping in through this seam. And then after I put the sealer on it, you can see how they drying up and disappearing because they were dark. So then little by little, I kept getting, you know, a couple more, which was over here. This is all kind of new. And then this is new, and this is new. Now here again, I, I, somehow I'm thinking it's getting in this damn seam here. And water, so you can see where I, uh, you know, I had to drill this thing out. Water is like love, baby. It will find a way. So it's pissing me off all the work I did. And I'm guessing here, I mean, is it from just that screw? I don't know. I don't know. And when I when I took these out and grounded these things out underneath, took the grinder and ground them out so it would fit, you know, come down. And I hit them again with the with the resin, but I guess, you know, I, should, I, I didn't, didn't get it real good, I guess. Or is it just leaking in where the screw is? Frigga fragga schmaga frigga fragga. But yeah, when those these first two came up out back here, I was like, oh man, it's gotta be leaking in that seam somehow. Put the sealer on, dry it up, dry it up. I don't know, so, Captain Mark said maybe I could drill it, drill a series of holes in there and try to soak in some like Thompson water seal or something like that. But man, I do not want to tear this thing out again and put more friggin' holes in it. Either it's getting into this damn screw hole, which seems to be a pretty big bunch of water. Like I said, why is it still wet here? Everywhere else is dry. Or it's soaking in where I grinded it out. So, hey, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Here's my, my present for rescuing them the other day. Anyway, I got to get this figured out. If I, if I can maybe get this sealed up so the water doesn't drip underneath, that will help. But when it starts to... Then I'll pull it out and cut another one. It's just a freaking piece of wood. Cut it out. Put it in. Then it in it. All right, the other issue. I was under the impression that when this thermostat opened up, water was supposed to come out the old blubber holes there, and it wasn't. Well, I found out it ain't supposed to come out the old blubber holes there on this motor, this size motor. <clears throat> so everything is good except i just still need to get down here and, and tweak all my settings and see where i'm at there thermostat's working it's running at temp runs good idles fine but I just want to see where my my settings are and do a little tweaky baby yeah baby little jimmy beam honey for the rescue all right, baby, it's this old outboard, the 1979 Evinrude 55 horse. Paid 200 bucks for it, sight unseen. I believe they said it had 150 PSI, even Steven. So I won't check it. And then I'm going to get the pressure washer, get it cleaned up, 
start ripping everything off of it. And here's something I might just rip off. My P-tube and my little clip down here for the 40. <laughs> These, this motor and the 40 are identical other than old school carbs with the uh, choke, you know, choke butterfly and primer. Still electric primer, just closes the chokes. But same power head, same everything, same gear case. Everything's the same on this motor from 87 down to 79. Not a lot of changes. Let's see what she got. I hooked it up to the van because all my good batteries are in the boats. Let me fire up the van and see what we got here. Yeah. So yeah, I was thinking that whole time on the 40 that as soon as that thermostat opened, it was supposed to come out. But no. See, I'm learning all the time. Uh, then my, my uh, assumption was, or possible reason for it running cold, was something had lodged in that thermostat because of all that junk that was in there. But now I know it was probably bad grommet in the relief valve. And just, to, you know, who knows for sure. So I'm always learning on these things. You know, I spent more time on the smaller stuff. But it's pretty much the same principles. A little bigger scale. All right. Smoking, man, it was smoking on my ground water. Smoking. Well, a little over 60. But I tell you, that paint job on that power head, though, looks good. It's just dirty. Why am I smoking? Crappy connection. Smoking again. Now, how did they get 150 and I can barely get it to turn? There's 100. Let's try some different connections here. Can't get this thing to spin over any faster than that. Crappy starter. I mean, it's just been sitting since they did it. How can it be that much different? Actually, we try it with no nothing screwed in. Starter's too weak. Right? <laughs> Almost 180. We just call it 170. Now, I was also going to say, too, and do, you know, spray a little crap in there. And I said, well, told myself, let's just do it dry. 
but normally I'll throw some crap in there because in reality when it's running you know crap is going in there lubrication Fifty-five. It's fine. Do the top again because it blew out a lot of that crap. I can't believe it's going to be that much of a difference. Damn it. Man, it's still at 170. How is that possible? Those stinks. How is that possible? 155 and 170? Well, let's throw a little bit more in the bottom and see what happens. I don't think I've ever had an outboard say 170. <laughs> Actually, 160. So 10 pounds difference. It's kind of hard to believe. Maybe the bottom is stuck a little bit. Ring stuck. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure they told me it was 150 even. You know, if you look at this power head, if this is original paint, then nobody's ever been in this thing. All these bolts on the head and the uh, thermostat cover all have the paint on them. That's a little hard to believe. They all have the paint on them. Now you know somebody's been in there when they're all the paint's chipped off a whole lot. Not on this one. Here, like I said, look at those, look at all these bolts. Is that original paint? I mean, if, if it is, nobody's ever been in here. Or if they have, it <laughs> a long time ago. Now, if you look on the sides, you can see the gaskets have paint on them. Now, is that, that's not original to, to a 79, right? That should see, that should show black. Mm, I don't think so. They should show black if they've been replaced. They assemble these things, put them on the line, and hit them with the paint. What else would be a dead giveaway? So this has got paint on it. Everything looks, like I said, it's, it's, a, it's uh, clean. I mean, it's dirty, but it's clean, you know what I mean? Now here's something I didn't like, was a little paint peeling on the top, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. It's not on the head. It's, I've got compression. <laughs> and once you got good, good compression, everything else is just a pain in the ass. All right, so that's what's happening, man. Get this baby tore down, clean it up, get on the old interweb, start ordering up some parts. And uh, I'm almost wondering if I should pull this damn thermostat and everything off first thing before I do anything else is pull it off you know swap everything out that way no surprises uh, man I forgot all about the carbs man they've been in there soaking <laughs> for for how long now I bet I bet it's all evaporated finally or most of it should be so all right the old 55 of them running Oh yeah baby, you know the channel. Don't forget to subscribe.